Hello. Um, I just had a really crazy, freaky thing happen to me just now. I, um, I wanted to document it just in case anything were to happen to me. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm really, really freaking out right now, and this is the only thing that's calming me down, you know? Well, I'm home alone right now, and, oh, God. Well, last night, I had went online, and I was checking out about how to open your third eye and all that, and I did exactly the steps that this girl was saying, and... The scary thing is, I think it worked, and I'm really freaked out right now, and... <sighs> well, I was laying in bed, and I was watching a TV show. Uh, and that was the only thing on, just my TV, and there was this knocking. Like, and it... <sighs> it's scaring me just to talk about it, but there was this knocking coming from my closet. And... <sighs> It just really freaked me out. So I got up just to, you know, make sure nothing was, like, falling. Even though, I mean, it sounds insane because it was an actual knocking. But to try and ease, you know, ease my mind and my thinking. I, You know, I wanted to justify it with, like, oh, my books fell or something like that. And it wasn't. And, you know, I knew it wasn't going to be that. And I just, I'm really scared and... <sighs> I'm sorry, I, I just, I don't know what else to say. <sighs>
But um, the point of this is to show what schizophrenia is. And, and to show truth does not have schizophrenia, psychosis, or none of that. Because when we say an event is fake, you know, we don't, we, we're seeing what we're seeing. It's, it's true. Like, they use propaganda in events. They use hocus events. She thinks, her right there, she thinks she's seeing her imaginary friend again from when she was a eight-year-old girl. From when she was eight or ten, there was an imaginary friend she saw that she used to play with outside and she used to talk to. Her dad would ask her, are you, who are you talking to? Like I was saying, she said, you're not real because as a kid, she had schizophrenia. And she would see this girl all the time. And this girl would be her comfort. So she was eight. The girl, her imaginary friend was eight. Now she's adult married. And she thinks she's seeing that girl who's now older. But if you've seen the movie, you know what's up. But let's continue. That's a no good husband who sent her up. I lost my temper. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm sorry. I know this is hard for you. These images, these, these dreams you had as a child, how real did they seem? Like they weren't dreams. That's a psychiatrist talking to her about the dream or images she saw as a child. You could talk to her? Yes, we could play together. And when would she appear? Whenever my dad yelled at me or hurt my mom, whenever I was alone, I needed a friend. And did she appear after your parents died? When your father killed your mother and killed himself? No, it's too bad my father didn't kill himself first. I don't want to falsely diagnose this. You have to know that I'm not judging you. I'm, I'm here to help you. Do you have visions now? Sometimes. The same little girl, I assume. That's when she was a kid. She would see that image. Always. Are you embarrassed by me? I mean, if I were, like, ugly or scary. Bleeding from the eyes. That'd be different. I'm not. Now she's sitting by the poolside, and that's her imaginary friend at an older age. And you heard what she said. You know, if I was, oh, you were scared of me? If I was bleeding from the eyes or ugly or scary? Usually, 
schizophrenic people, when they see visions, they see visions, visions of monsters or demons. And these demons are telling them to do things or be in their head. That's the great thing about an imaginary friend. I can be whatever you want me to be. Okay. And schizophrenia is demonic possession from maybe when you open your third eye. When you do that demonic third eye new age stuff, that spiritualism, Hindu, Buddhism, all that um, new age crap. When you do that and you disobey God, you open your mind up to demons, your protection from God is taken away and you start seeing these things that you did as thou wilt. And you won't no longer have that protection from God from seeing these demons. They they come, they come. You see visions, you hear things, and you see them. This is a student film. This is a student film she did for a project about schizophrenia. Again, schizophrenia is a spiritual disorder when you dwell, when you dabble in witchcraft, dabble in third eye, dabble in things you're not supposed to. Those suffering from the mental illness have delusions, wild beliefs, and hallucinations may think they can see things that aren't really there. Now, those things are really there to them in their head because they no longer have that protection barrier over their mind. For the demonic spiritual world, they do see. You do not dabble with third eye, new age, Hinduism, Buddhism, Kundalini awakening, none of that. And they are really there. This angel, this only you can see them because you dabbled in it. She's, and I haven't seen this yet. I downloaded it, but I haven't seen it yet. But schizophrenics, they won't tell you why they're seeing them things. They don't. They won't tell you what spiritual mess they dabbled in that um, took God's protection from their mind. That opened that opened them up to the demonic ground of seeing things. Yeah, they won't tell you though. It's not a chemical imbalance. You're not born that way. It's something you're done. You're intentionally done. Maybe you play with a Ouija board, tarot cards, rune stones, these magic things that are forbidden for a good reason. And you no longer have that protection guarded against your mind. You let the devil in, and now you see these things and hear these things. It's not um, what medical science says it is, trust me. I've always had imaginary friends. I mean, I could always hear them. I just didn't know who they were. In all cases of schizophrenia, it's always demons, always devil from to do bad things. It's never good things. It's never. Now with third eye, when you open your third eye, it starts off as them talking good to you, but then it gets worse. They show their true face, especially when you ask them about Jesus Christ, these so-called people who open their third eye, and they say, oh, I got a guardian, and I see him, I talk to him. Once that so-called um, guardian, which is a demonic presence, changes, it changes for the worse. Changes for the worse, and you become really, really hunted by those demonic spirits. And my psychics, they see these things. Mediums, psychic mediums see these things. The real ones, they, they see these things. 
Those are demons psychics talk to. They don't talk to dead loved ones. Dead loved ones are unconscious. They cannot talk. Jesus Christ hasn't come back yet to raise the dead. And then I started to see them. I was almost asleep when I saw them for the first time. Almost asleep. Still drifting in and out of consciousness. But you can be fully conscious and see them. Because that's what you done to yourself. By what they started talking to me. I by whatever spiritual mess you was messing with. Some of the things they said. It seemed a little strange at first, but I listened to them because they wanted to be my friends. They always want to be your friend, these demons. Then they twist and turn. I don't have many friends at school. People think I'm different. So when I was alone, the imaginary friends came and talked to me. Sometimes they told me to do things I didn't want to do. They like to make me scared sometimes. Like to make you scared, that's nothing but um, demonic presence, evil. Again, it's a student film that she made for a project, but they're not going to say how they were able to see these visions and hear these voices because there's something that happened. Like I said, they played with a Ouija board. They played with something they weren't supposed to be messing with. And they play with your mind. Look, I'm worried about it. Yeah, I know she's a teenager, but it's not normal. She's just staring at the TV screen. And the TV isn't even on. Maybe you should come home just for a couple of days. Now, with schizophrenia, that medical term, it's, it's, it's all spiritual. It's all spiritual um, possession. Sooner or later, the, the, the demons, the spirits are going to take over her body. They may not go that far in this video, but that's what happens. Your dad's going to get you. He'll hurt you. Trust me. I trust you. You are my friend. Tell me I'm in danger. To protect me, they've been convincing me to join them. To become an imaginary friend too. It means I would finally be safe. That's what they tell me. I think I would like to. Be with us forever. Be with us. Be with us. The demons in her head. Tell her how to kill herself. Suicide. Demon of suicide.
Oh, well, I tell you, she's, is she gonna jump? Don't tell me that you'll be quick and painless. Like, that's nothing but evil that would tell you to kill yourself and tell you lies. And again, they're possessing her. And they haven't fully possessed her, but they're convinced her to jump. Again, this is a student movie, but this is how it works. Again, they're not saying how the schizophrenic became schizophrenic. Because sometimes it's a traumatic event, but most of the time it's you dabble in magic. You dabble tarot cards or Ouija boards or number one. A number one is a Ouija board where you start seeing stuff and hearing stuff after you play with a Ouija board. Because with the Ouija board, all you're doing is when you put your hand on that board, it's not the board that has the power, it's you when you invite the spirits in. You're willingly inviting the spirits in when you say it. So it's not the board, it's what you say that get them spirits into you. And people don't know that. They're so ignorant. They're so ignorant. It's not a chemical imbalance. They say that I can be with them forever. Safe from everything I see it's here. It's a spiritual thing. And you see that the demons trying to make her jump. And demons come in any form, shape, or size, color. And I listen because they are my friends. There's nothing but pure evil. Now, if you see the true form of those girls, they are demons. That should say 4 out of 10 people with demonic oppression or depression. That's what it is. It's demonic oppression, depression. Research it on YouTube. Type it in. And that's the end. Now, this video is to show what Joe Rogan and Alice Jones were saying about um, their views are schizophrenic. The views are not schizophrenic or psychotic or psychosis. If people on camera are laughing right after their daughter died in a mass shooting and they're joking around, of course, that's, that's a hocus news. That's hocus news. It's not real. So that's what... Uh, schizophrenia is is when you are possessed oppressed by demons and they come to you in any shape form say to your friend and they start telling you stuff and you start seeing them and they want you to kill yourself they want you to hurt others usually these schizophrenia or demonic oppressed depressed people end up in psych wards instead of having exorcisms done on them but that's the end of the video. I just wanted to point out what um, Alice Jones and Joe Rogan were saying, cause which was lies. It's just full of shit. None of, none of their views are schizophrenic. People who tell the truth about the media and the government are not schizophrenic or psychotic or psychosis. Like they love to mislead you. Alice Jones love to mislead. Joe Rogan love to mislead. Everybody love to mislead. And this has to be an awkward occurrence with Hocus News. We'll see you in the next video.